We're gonna be doing a little bit of cleanup. Casey's gonna be cleaning up some plants. I'm gonna be redoing some of our uh, benches here. Got a lot of work cut out for us here. Hey everyone, how you doing? I'm Jason, Casey's husband. I'm gonna be the one doing the uh, filming today. I'll be your gracious host, showing you around this magical place called our greenhouse. Today we got a lot of work cut out for us in here. We gotta build some new benches. Some of the benches that I made in the past, the tops that I used didn't really hold up very well, so I'll show you what I'm gonna use there. Casey's gonna be cleaning up some of the plants as we've got some insect problems, but that's not very uncommon for this time of year. It's the beginning of February, and it's time to get rolling. Okay, well first things first, Casey's about to start seeding, planting up all kinds of stuff. So we need a little more bench space than what we got right now. So uh, we've got a bunch of benches behind the greenhouse here. I'm gonna go out there and get them. Boy, it sure looks a lot different back here than it does when everything is nice and green and planted up, but that won't be, that won't be long off. First things first, gotta get the soil rolling. So these are the bench tops here. We need to do something else on the top. That's a, like a black vinyl lattice that's on there and in the heat. It sags and watering's uneasy, so I'll show you what we're gonna be using, like a metal grate top that I'll, I'll probably have to cut to get on there, but it'll be a lot stronger. And while I'm doing that, Casey's doing some watering right now. And what else is on the agenda? We're gonna get the whole greenhouse like completely cleaned up today. We've got white fly and some other stuff. But we're just gonna get it cleaned up so we're ready for seeding and that's gonna start hopefully next week. It has to start next week, otherwise we're falling behind. And not everything gets started next week, but there's quite a few varieties that we grow that if they're not started then, they won't be ready to even plant in spring. So, and one of those varieties, for example, is eucalyptus. And in order to get these guys nice and big, you gotta get them started early, so. That's right. Off with the old, on with the new. Now there definitely won't be any sagging with this. The issue with the other stuff is that it would get real soft in the middle and trays wouldn't be sitting uneven. You'd get uneven, uneven watering. So this, this is a lot stronger of a material and it'll be built to last. Well, the girls are gonna do a little tubing out here. It's a sunny day, a little windy and cold, but hey, it's winter. Angelica so we're not keeping everything but just a few things that we love using and right here are our lemongrasses and I love these so the more the better we use a lot of these for our sprays and using them in a lot of other things that we're gonna try so always got to have lemongrass on hand and it's a slow germinator and starter but once you know you have it going it just really flourishes this was cut about a month ago so it's already replenishing which is really cool so once we bump it up it's gonna really give us a nice little crop oh we got a little visitor in here <laughs> hey fuzzy she's got a prime spot there <laughs> just yeah the eucalyptus trees are are looking real nice in here Some big ones on the on the back wall there. So we are gonna be getting rid of some stuff because they've got bugs. Yeah, so I did I cut back like rosemary is a huge attractor for mealy bugs, but I just went ahead and cut them back, bumped them up, 
and then we watered them through and then we'll go and give them a little spray and they should be good from there so so I got these really cute pots because I have so many mangaves to bump up from Walter's Gardens and I was having a hard time deciding which one I'm gonna put in here but I decided so we're gonna do that one with this one. This one's called the Mayan Queen. Ooh, the Mayan Queen. And I know a lot of times you want to do something that's opposite in color in the pot to really pop, but I don't know. This has that bluish tone and I just feel like it's going to make it look really cool in here. Look at how it already is going to fill out this pot once it's mm. once it's planted. I like that. Once it's planted, it's going to take off so quickly because it's been stuck in this pot since when we got our perennials for that garden design over by Andy's tree. Oh, sure, yeah. So when was that, in spring? Yep. So it's time to get these guys bumped up, give them a new home, and then they're going to be so happy and they're going to get <laughs> huge like my other one. Great Scott. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> <laughs> it's so huge. <laughs> That's a big one. flowers that are produced by the mangabe when they produce them and they're in the greenhouse they are a big aphid attractor for us so once we are done enjoying the flower we then trim it off and take it out because they also create a lot of mess and you don't want them to drop their little mess onto these leaves because it's really hard to get things out of these leaves because the leaves drop in deep so anytime something drops it drops in deep so a lot of times, like even with like, you know, they, there's layers upon layers of leaves. So a lot of times I just take the shop vac right to the leaves and just kind of suck some of those leaves out of there to clean it up. Jason and I got this up onto a stand um, just to kind of really get a picture as to how, how huge this is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm way back here. It's so huge. It's awesome. Um, so we're just kind of kind of looking through for any pests. It actually looks super healthy. Um, I don't think there's anything to worry about, but we want to get it out into some more sunshine. Where it currently was, wasn't getting a lot of sun. So we're going to make sure it gets what it needs now and take good care of our little mangave friend here. <laughs> The old and with the new. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Thank you. 